What's going on, everybody? Um, okay, so quick recap. I didn't make a video of uh, TSNP yesterday, um, but basically, this it hit my target. Um, kept going, but um, just really, really can't be upset. You know, um, got the gap up I wanted, and I uh, got the push up to forty-two. That was my target. My ten percent took it, and uh, just never looked back. Um, I can't complain. It was a beautiful rip. I mean, I love this continuation. Um, I'd love to be more patient and let the ride the momentum a little bit longer in, in the morning. Um, but it's just super hard with me at work because I start work exactly at 630 when the market opens. So I kind of just got to, I just let it play out and, and hit my target. So I took that bag um, and ended up holding up really nicely. And today it gapped up and, and had another beautiful play broke out over five uh, fifty cents and it was absolutely beautiful um, 50 cents is right here so playing it anywhere you know maybe on the the double bottom here and uh, risking the bottom um, you play that when it breaks above VWAP risking the bottom um, you could play this double bottom here when it's holding VWAP um, the high day break even you know, uh, this played out. This was a really nice play. This was an easy setup. Um, I, I, I actually wasn't watching it. I, I had completely forgotten about it, um, which is why you can't forget about socks like this. Uh, you got to keep your eye on it. But beautiful play here. Nice continuation breakout. Um, other ones I've been watching are ones you guys have probably seen. Uh, I, what was it? I N K W. It's a beautiful breakout play here. Nice continuation. Um, I tried to play this yesterday and uh, didn't get a fill at 60 cents or at six cents. And, um, and then kind of just sat on my hands. Um, was a little uneasy about, about re trying to rebuy it and, uh, I guess I just took a mental trade on it. Just pretended like I was in at six cents and let it ride. It hit my target. It was coming up to test high of day, uh, which was nice. And it held up. And another thing that's been working out really nicely that I've been watching is this dip and rip. Um, so it gaps, it's like a gap and crap reversal. Um, this one gapped up a little bit, but just crapped right away Had a morning dip, put in a bottom, made a higher low. You could buy this higher low, risking the bottom. And then that's the play right there. Just looking for continuation on that breakout. Um, VP, ER, same, same exact thing. <sighs> Come on, baby, you can load. But you can see in the morning it gaps up a little bit, dips, puts in a bottom, makes a higher low. You buy that higher low, risking the bottom. And then you can play that rip there and that continuation. Um, these are just nice breakout plays with really nice volume. Um, the fir these first green days here when they, they broke out is when I missed them. Uh, I was just, I've been messing with my scans and I think I finally got my scans dialed in a little bit better. So um, now I'm, I should be able to, to catch these before they really start moving. Uh, yeah, so I missed this day. My plan was for, for this kind of gap and crap reversal um, to play out, but uh, I was holding, I think I was holding TSMP overnight. And so I watched that. I tried to watch that the next morning and plus work. And so it's really difficult to try to play multiple stocks in the morning, but um, my idea was correct and it, and it played out really well. So it's nice to see for sure. Um, top watch for me today was a uh, ALYI. Just looking for that breakout over 72. Pretty sure it was 72. Yep. So um, just nice first green day. I tried to buy here at 62, 63 when it, when it was put in this uh, double bottom here. Um, and it just kind of bumped right up. And I, I thought about buying here at 64, but I didn't want to. I didn't think it was going to rip right up like this. Um, so I kind of just sat on my hands once I missed my fill at 62, 63. And um, let it do its thing. Um, I bought this dip here at... Um, 67.9 I bought a starter of 12,000 shares and uh, let it play out 
And as it started to dip here, it had some weird prints that I didn't really like. Um, I know it's just a weird print. It's just a glitch in the in the um, time and sales, but just, I don't know, something about it that, you know, doesn't really make you comfortable when you see it's dipped all the way to 58 cents. Um, but uh, just a glitch in the, in the time and sales. I wasn't too worried about it. Um, ended up buying this dip here in the 66. Uh, well, I tried to buy here some at 65. Um, 66 was 66 was the real support that I was kind of looking at right here and um, 64 was that level that I was risking and um, couldn't it couldn't break down past 64 it bounced and was just kind of hanging in the in the 65 66s and so I got some more shares at 66 5 uh, total of 25,000 looking to swing overnight I'm just looking for a gap up and uh i'm hoping this plays out somewhat like uh, inkw and vper and we get a, a gap up breakout uh maybe we get a gap a gap and crop reversal going i could add some more shares into the dip or in the, in the higher low um and then we get the break just going to see how it kind of plays out in the morning see if we get the gap up and uh, kind of just go from there but risking that 64 since it's where it kind of bottomed out So yeah, risking 64, that's where I put the bottom, held trend, which is nice. Um, and it looks like uh, looks like the level two on my phone shows showing it's 68 by 70 now. So um, it, we'll see, it, we'll see. It got some nice volume. I like the volume, I like the overall chart. So we'll see how this plays out. It's my main watch for tomorrow morning. Uh, I'm not really looking at anything else. Just trying to, you know, I try not to overtrade. Just trying to stick to some simple patterns. Um, not playing huge size. Trying to stay patient, and uh, just trying to, trying to be smart with this, and uh, just do it right. You know, I don't want to be taking any big losses this week like I did last week. Just took a little too many trades, and just some that weren't ideal, and just kind of had to sell into the washouts in the morning, and. Um, took bigger losses than I wanted. So just really try not to overtrade this week and um, just start trading ideal patterns. This was pretty choppy, but it did hold trend. And uh, I like the volume, like the overall pattern. So we'll see how it plays out in the morning. Worst comes to worst, you know, I'm stopping out at 64 and I'm taking like a $50 loss. So I can live with that. Um, and, you know, you're not always going to be right. So you got to be okay with taking your losses and moving on to the next one. So that's basically it for me today. Um, we'll see how things go tomorrow and I shall be making another lesson on uh, how this plays out tomorrow. So hope you guys enjoy. Have a good one.